Hello, my name is Tim Podorf and I'm an ergonomist. I've got quite a few questions these days about the ergonomics for kids taking online school from home and what can parents do to help their children out. Well, there are actually a few things that are very similar to the regular work from home office based employee and we'll go through a few of those right now. First off, uh, many, many students are using a tablet style computer and oftentimes they're hunched over just looking at the screen. That's actually one of the worst things a kid can do because then it can actually result in spinal deformities at a young age. We don't want to see that. So first off, we want to actually raise the screen so it's about eye level. You can use a box, a stack of paper, some magazines, or various, various things you can do. Um, next piece is again, to keep them from hunched over, I want to make sure they have a separate keyboard. And there's some really inexpensive ones out there, but just a compact, simple compact keyboard could be wireless, could be USB connected. That's a really good, good um, option. Uh, this is a Bacher Alcusen uh, S Board 840. Um, you can actually use the code QP3 Ergo 20, where the QP and the E and Ergo are capitalized and you get a 20% discount. I don't get a dime. It's just discount straight to you. Um, also, you want your student to use a separate mouse, a uh, separate mouse pointing device. It, um, again, gets their hands away from the computer, keeps them from being hunched over. We want them to be sitting back into a chair. Now, that brings up another good point is that many times a kid, a small kid may be in a chair size for an adult. That's not quite right. Just think about it. If we were adult, we went to say a first grade classroom and tried to sit in one of the student chairs, it wouldn't be too comfortable. So first off, the chair has to be, needs to be sized pretty close to the kid. And one of the things, a good rule of thumb is to make sure that they can get their bottom all the way back in the seat and still have a little bit of room behind their knees from the front of the chair, between the knees, back of the knees in front of the chair. So those are just a few things. We also want to make sure that they have their feet supported on the floor. If the feet aren't if their chair is too high, they're not going to tip forward and they're not going to have support from the chair. So put a box or something under their feet so the thighs are parallel to the floor and these are about 90 degrees. And you can also uh, go to our website, qp3ergosystems.com. Under remote assessments, we do have a, real, a nice, inexpensive um, assessment we can do for people who have kids taking school from home or, you know, if you're working from home, and you just sign up and, and put your credit card in and we will contact you and set up a, a Zoom to do the assessment for you and help you out in some troubleshooting, see what, we, what you might need to do differently to help your online student succeed. Um, again, give me a call if you have any questions, 847-921-3113, or just email us at info at qp3ergosystems.com. And you can also go on the website, www.qp3ergosystems.com. So I hope this helps and good luck to your students and I hope they have a great year. Thank you.